bars are closed, alcohol sales are up in Iowa. KCCI's Kayla James is live in West Des Moines tonight, and Kayla, booze sales at some metro area restaurants are booming. Steve, that's right. The manager at the Rusty Taco here tell us these margaritas have always been a hit, and curbside to go is doubling their alcohol sales. We were once, you know, five, maybe 10 percent in liquor and beer sales. We've gone up to maybe 20 percent now. And the Rusty Taco team hopes to continue that upward trend. Not only are the margaritas boosting their sales, but they're also giving customers access to an option some restaurants don't have at this time. We have our full menu. A full menu isn't currently an option for some places, like Hello Marjorie in downtown Des Moines. They're only mixing up three to four of their most popular cocktails, but they have no complaints, especially after being uncertain about how their bar, which only serves drinks, would do until last Saturday. Over 300 cocktails went out, um, and that was more than we could have ever anticipated. The drinks have to be in a tightly sealed container, and it's recommended by the Iowa Alcoholic Beverages Division for the container to be clear, similar to this one here, that the team at Hello Marjorie gives out. We prep on Mondays and Mondays and Fridays. That way they're very fresh uh, for pickup. And if it's not a pre-order, we make it right on the spot. Where people can continue to choose to make their drinks themselves, which is something the Iowa Alcoholic Beverages Division believes is happening often now. They tell KCCI sales are up 18% in comparison to last March, reaching $32 million in sales. That $32 million is reminiscent of what we sell in October, November, December. Now there is one point everyone I spoke with wanted people to remember. Open container law does still supplies, so they're saying it's best if you put your drink in the trunk of your vehicle. Live in West Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.